But I always see this and I never test it. So I'm gonna test it because I don't know. Oh, that is Flint. <laughs> what the heck? Are you serious? Okay, guys, how you doing? Good morning. Okay, we got 5,000 subscribers. Last night, today, while I was out looking for stuff, I just happened to look and I say, ding, 5,000. So I'm gonna do a giveaway contest for you guys because you guys are freaking awesome. Uh, I'm gonna do a knife giveaway, a stone knife, flint knife, and I'm also gonna do an arrowhead necklace giveaway. Something similar to this. This is my personal one. This is uh, actually material that I found right here. It was one of the first pieces of flint that I found right here. So that's, I'm not giving that away, but something similar. <laughs> okay, let's go see what we got. Getting some chert from right down in this creek. Man, this feels really special. 5,000 subs, crazy. Usable arrowhead, definitely will work. So, people are wondering how I find flint and chert. Uh, usually what I do is I look at like Google Earth or Google Maps, and I look for areas with like a big rocky shore along the waterways. And uh, I just walk down and explore. And usually you could tell on the way in if you're gonna find something or not, because you'll see little chunks of workable material, which I have not so far but I'm gonna walk down and look anyway. This place seems familiar. Hmm. So this has all been super eroded here. We lost about three feet, two feet out into the river. You can see it cut all the way up to here. And in that original video of this location, uh, you could see that this was fairly flat to walk on here. So a lot of erosion here. Look at the far shore over there. Yeah, you can see it out over there too. So that needs testing. See that? That's Flint. That's Flint. Last time I had my mini sledge. So there's just little bits of chart in a huge block of limestone. You can see it's limestone here. So there's little, little bits. So that is not good for flint napping. Good for flint and steel, maybe? If you could get to it, good for flint and steel. You'd need a, a hammer or a better hammer stone. This looks like maybe a little tiny bit surrounded by limestone. I'll test it. Smells like gunpowder. Like flint 
went. Yeah. It's a very low quality flint. It's not on a daga. So, for everyone who uh, found that first how to find flint video, this is where I found the Onondaga. Onondaga, that's how I used to say it. Onondaga. Uh, so I really want to find a source of that stuff, the smelly stuff. So I'm going to look around here a little bit more and then follow the creeks and rivers around this whole area. So come and take a look with me. Watch out, slippery. Slip that. Yeah. All right, I'm going to sink. <laughs> okay. There's little Toys R Us teddy bear paws. No, it's like little monkey. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Squirrel? It looks like little hands. <laughs> Flint right here running through the limestone and the back. So I'm going to take this piece off. Not on a daga. Good for flint and steel, not much else. In this big block is more of the freeze damaged chert. I could see a line here. See how damaged that is? You cannot use something like this for flint napping, but you can use it for flint and steel fire starting. Let's see how it looks anyway. I smell it. It's not on a dogger. See how it just chunks and crumbles like that? But for flint napping, you want it to run in a smooth flake. It can't crack and crumble like this. Looks like it's in limestone, too. This is a lighter gray color. Shock absorber. No. <laughs> See this? Hit here. Oh, uh, yeah. A little, little bit in there. Chunks off and blocks. Mm hmm. more of that crumbly chert. Gosh. So that looks like a mix? It's a mix. Let's see. <laughs> Limestone chert mix. Limestone and chert? Yep. Yep. Limestone. Oh. It's mostly limestone. But it's cherty limestone, so you can nap that.
English. <laughs> so to explain what happened with that big rock, I saw a, a seam going through the rock, a line of different material, very thin. And if you hit along those lines, it'll split the whole rock. If you find where the line goes through in the rock and you hit it at the right location, it will split the rock like what you just saw happen. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. That's Onondaga. Really? Yeah. See the white speckles in the black? Yep. Can I smell it? Yep. Oh, my gosh. All right. What do we got? So we hit here. Extremely high quality flint. Ooh. And this is Onondaga chert. Yeah, can can they see that shine? Open it up again? Yep. Let's see if I can get that, like, can you, like, tilt it? It's like a little bit of a shimmer. Ooh, there we go. But the oil smell wears off real quick. That's disappointing. I really like the oil smell. <laughs> it's weird. So, I'll take this and make a little tiny arrowhead out of it again. This is almost the same stuff as this material. It does look similar. We'll head up this way. If this is where the Onondaga is, it's not washing in from down there. So it's not coming in from down there and then washing up here if there's a water source flowing out this way. It's coming from up there. 100% coming from up there, the smelly stuff. <laughs> All right, so I found, again, at this spot, tiny things. Things that you can't really use for flint napping, things you can use for flint and steel. But uh, I'm more interested in the flint napping at the moment. And uh, I'm not really seeing too much big that I could use here. It's all tiny stuff, but it is coming from that way. So I'm gonna head up that way, follow that river, and see if there's anything washing out along the way. But as for here, not too much to be found. So, let's go. But again, I found another tiniest piece of Onondaga ever. It is what I'm looking for, but it's so small, man. Come on, give me more than that. Come on, I've been trying for so long. <laughs> All right, let's go. I am hopeful. Maybe we'll find it this time. I'm always finding more underwears than chert. Why is there so much underwears? What the heck? All right, so I just always assume this is a pure chunk of limestone from that color. You can see it's a different color when it's wet. But I always see this and I never test it. So I'm gonna test it because I don't know. Oh, that is flint. <laughs> what the heck? Are you serious? That is flint. So we need to reevaluate this entire. <laughs> entire <laughs> what the heck? Are you serious? That's you, Flint. Did you just have a feeling? About I just that? had a feeling. Yep. Just because I saw that color change. That's funny. That is Flint. That's usually what the. What is this? Limestone looks like. Is that the? Uh... Here's more. This is weird looking. All right. That's amazing. What the heck? Yeah. Look at that. What? That's chert. Are you kidding me? Look at that. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. It's not pure. This piece is not pure. So. Try this. Oh my gosh, this might be chert. Are you dude? What the heck, man? Either that or it's what? It's just super, super high quality limestone? I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> hey, no, that's chert. What the? <laughs> that's chert. Are you, dude? Okay, so what the heck is this? Okay, so we need to completely reevaluate. Look, there's, there's that, there's that. Dude, I thought it was just limestone. There is some impurities in it, but that's pretty freaking high quality. What the? What? So, 
Not the smelly stuff, but high quality stuff. Yeah, what do you call this? I don't know. I don't know. It's a gray white chirp. Don't know. What the heck? Oh, I know. Oh my gosh. That oh my is, gosh. this is the highest quality chirp I've found. <laughs> so I'm looking for the, the blue and black stuff and just completely rock blind to the fact that there's huge blocks of chert freaking everywhere here. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Well, I was not expecting that. I was on my way out. I was on my way out and I was like, let me test one more. What the heck? Okay, so I gotta make some notes. And to make some emails. Success! <laughs> <laughs> okay. following the creek up and down. allowed to be in the water but you can't be on the shore so if you're on the shore and there's a posted sign you are trespassing don't do that so you want to find areas that have public access and that you are allowed to collect from you got to make sure you got to double check and always be careful of that you get in deep trouble if you trespass be careful so there are posted signs all up and down this creek and uh, I found one spot that looked like a public fishing spot. And it's ju there's just not a lot of access. I know there's flint in this creek, but um, if I contact the, uh, the owners on the posted signs, if I contact them, I might be able to get permission to go and look, but that isn't gonna happen this trip. So I'll head over to the public area and see what's, see what's around there, I guess. Uh, so this white chert that I found, as compared to the black chert, the white chert needs good platforms to flake. If you just hit it like how I usually do, blowing through the piece, um, it's going to crumble and you're not going to have a good finished product. If you take the time to make good platforms and all, um, then you should be able to come up with a good point or a good knife or a good arrowhead. So each, uh, each type of stone, in my experience, requires different techniques, um, especially if you're trying to really thin it. But I'll get more into that in future videos, uh, future lithic demonstrations. I'm just glancing over this area here and I'm not really seeing anything that looks like chert or limestone. So I'm not gonna waste my time at this spot, but it's really beautiful. I followed a creek to a barbecue. I'm gonna have some lunch. She's got the food and the drink. 
BBQ. So I got one of these little fire starter things. I don't know what they're called, but you rip it up into a pile. Then I'm gonna use my wazoo necklace. Barrel rod piece of ceramic. Pull this back. You know, scrape that along there to make a spark. I've not tried this specific stuff yet, so we'll see. I followed the creek quite a ways, so I might be past the actual flint source. But some of this stuff looks promising. Let's see. I'll test it. All right. That is some different kind of flint. High quality. Very shiny. Totally different kind of flint here. Crazy. Okay. There's another flint line right there, and you can see it right there. It's not the best stuff. Interesting rock, though. Right here, right here is a line of flint. All right, guys, that is it for me. Make sure you check me out on Patreon. Like, comment, subscribe, click the rooster. You'll see them. Click them. See you guys soon. Thanks for the 5,000 subs. This is awesome. See you guys.